Ready? Yeah. Okay, so we have some balloons here. I'm going to rub these with fur. You might double speed this part of the video. All I'm trying to do is rub every part of the balloon the same amount. Hard for me to count and talk at the same time. So I'm trying to get the same amount of charge on each balloon. Am I going to be perfect? No. But hopefully on average it's about right. And so what I'm going to do now is let these, whoa, come on now, Blue. We're going to let this try to reach equilibrium. While that's reaching equilibrium, and I guess maybe you could look, uh, well, we'll look at the parameters in a minute. That's looking pretty good. So I'll give you the measurements in just a second. I just want to get this video over with. So I'm going to bring this meter stick in here very far underneath, and hopefully it won't polarize the balloons. Angus is going to zoom in, maybe a little bit, sl very walking very slowly so we don't blow the wind. Hopefully you can estimate the approximate separation distance here. You got a number, Angus, in your mind? I'm blind, but I'll go with uh, 33. Okay. Our, center to center, right? Center to center, yeah. yeah. Obviously we could do other measurement techniques, but whatever. <laughs> um, let's go look at the board and see the other parameters involved in here. Okay. Whoa. So let's take a look. And so these are the pieces of information. We did some measurements on the last video, and just to save time, we're going to read them off to you. So the balloon circumference, somehow I managed to get them all right on 64. I don't know how. I got lucky. Uh, plus or minus, let's say, 2 centimeters, because I, I was in a hurry. I had 16 similar balloons that ended up with a mass of 28.42 grams. Uh, uh, I found out that the string we used, uh, I just did a measurement and found that one meter of the string had a mass of about 0.07 grams. And then I did this measurement off camera. You can estimate based off the circumference. You can see if I'm not lying to you, but I'm not. It's about 64 centimeters from the point of uh, connection at the top to right here at the tie. And so you can figure out all this information. And hopefully from this, you can figure out the average charge on each balloon. All right? Let's call that good.